Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Diver Chronograph, reference 26703 ST. You can see and you can purchase this outstanding and cheerful yellow colored Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Diver Chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales list for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this 2016 special edition diving chronograph. Now the watch on my wrist represents one of the most cheerfully colored and exuberant Audemars Piguet Royal Oak offshore references since the heyday of the offshore limited editions in the 2000s. The watch is 42 millimeters across the round of the case, but that's not inclusive of the crown for the rotation rotating bezel, the chronograph pushers, the crown guards, or the crown for winding and setting. So let's consider that 42 millimeter dimension more theoretical. The watch frankly wears more like a 44 or a 45, but with the diver strap, it's more accommodating of a small wrist than on the hornback alligator with its rigidity or the bracelet with its flare and tendency to fight the curve of your wrist. The watch is also reasonably slim for an offshore at 15.75 millimeters thick and from lug to lug. This one measures 53.9 millimeters. Now here's the thing, it's on a strap, and not just any strap, perhaps the softest, most pliant, most supple, and impressively blended rubber mixture that Audemars Piguet has ever linked to a Royal Oak offshore. It is incredibly soft. I have never experienced a natural vulcanized rubber strap that feels almost indistinguishable from silicone. This feels like silicone even though I know it's latex based rubber and it has a wonderful granular texture to it so it feels fantastic under the finger and on the wrist. It also features these strong character lines on the top so when it's buckled on your wrist, it doesn't look like an undifferentiated mass of yellow. It does have masculinity, it has character, it has definition, it has form. It's beautifully structured and even look at the level of attention to detail, incredibly hard to achieve in a molded product. The bevel of the lug actually continues down the flank of the strap. You can see there is an actual bevel and, and it's tapered on the flank of the strap. That's how carefully Audemars Piguet considered and executed this. No default design, no stone left unturned, and fixed to the case using screws. Far more secure than spring bars. It's what you want on a big, heavy, aggressive premium sports watch. And it is that. The metallurgy is offshore style with big polished facets contrasting with satin finished tops. You can see the tapered bevel on the edge of the lug, the polished hexagonal stainless steel bezel bolts. You can see how fresh this one is. Every line is so sharp that in a purely figurative sense, it could almost cut you. There are pre-owned watches and then there are pre-owned watches. And this one, probably less than a year old, looks like it just walked out of an Audemars Piguet boutique. It is immaculate. Now the watch features a number of special features that debuted in 2016, including the combination of the chronograph with the internal rotating bezel that we know well from the Royal Oak divers. So once you screw out the ceramic shouldered crown, you can use it to ratchet the bezel internally. So you can line up the triangular index with the minute hand, and now you can time something from zero to 60 minutes using the minute hand and the bezel, while at the same time, you run the chronograph to time an interval up to 30 minutes. And here's the thing, it's an incredibly useful addition because nine times out of 10, I find it easier to use and read a bezel-based timing system than the registers of a chronograph. But you do have the mechanical sophistication of the chronograph should you desire it. Now, I should probably wind this one up before I start activating complications. The nice thing about this watch too is that it's considerably simplified over the traditional Royal Oak Offshore, which features a sub-register pattern uh, rather reminiscent of a Valjoux 7750. Here we have a 
bilaterally symmetrical twin register design that's wonderfully handsome and features a differentiated constant seconds with white baton hand from the chronograph minutes with the yellow baton hand. Of course, you have all of the new and cool features that debuted with the circa 2014 redesign of the 42 millimeter watches, including reprofiled crown guards as well as ceramic for the chronograph pushers as well as the shoulder of the crown and in this case the screw down crown for the internal ratcheting bezel and in case you're wondering the tactile feel of this bezel is next level. It feels like I'm rotating the turret of a tank so solid I can hear it, I can feel it and the sensations are outstanding. Precision equipment right there. Turn it over. Now there's not a whole lot that's been changed, although some modifications have been made to remove the date, thin out the watch, and create the twin register chronograph. This is Audemars Piguet modular caliber 3124 with a Dubois de Presse 3841 vertical clutch chronograph module. Automatic winding, it has a 50 hour power reserve. It also features this spectacular golden winding mask blazing with the coat of arms of the Audemars and Piguet families. Of course, Audemars Piguet still run by members members of the founding families. Elsewhere you can see a full balance bridge for better stability and bracing of the balance against shock with a gyro max style free sprung balance. The two features the full bridge and the free sprung architecture allowing the watch to take and hold a precise regulation and retain it against shocks and disruptions on the wrist. A little bit Rolex style but done in an upscale fashion more reminiscent of Patek Philippe. Of course the movement at least the base caliber executed in-house by Audemars Piguet. It's beautiful to look at, finely finished, and in terms of finish, it is a significant step up from the previous Jezure Lecoultre 889 base. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It does feature hacking or stop seconds and it's protected to 300 meters in this diver style Royal Oak Offshore compared to the standard 100 of the conventional chronograph. This watch features a balanced dial. It features an internal rotating bezel. It features fun loving exuberant colors that are nevertheless true to AP's history as as far back as 1997 Royal Oaks in outstanding colors were being offered. True to history, fun in the present, you can see and you can purchase this Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Diver Chronograph on our website.